Now the next laptop I'm about to introduce is one that I've been anticipating for quite a while and I couldn't wait to get it into the studio to give it my full treatment. Dell sent it over and it's the first laptop that I'm going to take a look at running Intel's all new 10th generation Ice Lake processor. It's the all new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 and it's got a beautiful full HD display, it's got excellent build quality, a beautiful design and of course really good battery life and hopefully improved performance. Hey everybody it's Andrew and this is my review of the all new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button? I know a lot of you are not getting notified when I'm uploading new videos. I'm not sure what's going on with YouTube. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hopefully, you will be notified every time I post a new video. Now, because YouTube is unreliable, I would also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll let you know when I post a new video on those platforms as well. Now, in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, Dell sent this over for my unbiased opinion. I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. Now this review unit is on loan from Dell and once this review is done, I am sending it back to Dell. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now you do get a 45 watt power adapter. It's pretty compact, USB-C. You also get your extension cord. You get a USB-A to USB-C adapter. They also included the Dell Active Pen for me to check out. Now I've looked at this before in other videos that I've reviewed recently. It's a really good pen, good feel in the hand, great for taking notes, sketching out artwork. I'll go over that later on in this video. It also uses one quadruple A battery. You also get a lanyard as well. Now the laptop itself comes in a really nice white package. Yes, I do have that platinum silver with that Arctic white interior and it looks really good. Now you also get some documentation, warranty and safety information and of course the unit itself and holding it for the first time wow this thing is thin light very sleek looking and very premium with excellent build quality and of course as we always do on my channel let's check out the port selection on the left side you get a thunderbolt 3 port and yes it does support four lanes you also get a micro sd card slot for storage expansion now moving over to the right side you get a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and a second thunderbolt 3 port that's it no other ports on this device and in case you were wondering the pen does stick magnetically to the side of the device and as I mentioned, I have the platinum silver with the Arctic white interior. Very nice looking, but of course you could always get in the more traditional colors that we've seen in the past. The XPS 13 2-in-1 comes with Windows 10 Home, but if you need Windows 10 Pro and if you need Microsoft Office, check out today's sponsor for some really great discounts. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Key, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, game keys, Steam CD keys, and so much more. Okay, here's how it works. Windows 10 Pro, $15.76. With my special 30% discount code just for my audience, you can bring it down to $11.03, which is a steal. Need Microsoft Office 2019? No problem, I got you covered. I have a 25% discount code, which brings it down from $66.05 to $49.54. That's an amazing price. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to lvlkey.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes. And I wanna thank LVL Key for sponsoring today's video. Now I love the versatility that this brings. You could put it in the tent mode, great for recipes in the kitchen, the same for the stand mode. And you can consume media with this, great for Netflix and YouTube. Of course, you could always put it into the tablet mode, great for use with the pen. And speaking of the pen, you're looking at 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, great for taking notes, great for sketching out artwork, great for navigating through Windows 10. Now the pen is a separate accessory. It does retail for $99, but it's definitely worth it if you do take notes and if you are a digital artist. 
Now, as far as the keyboard is concerned, well, I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, it has decent tactile feedback. On the other hand, very shallow keys in terms of key travel. So if you don't like the Apple MacBook, which this is very similar to in my opinion, you may not like this. This is a little bit better, but not much. So I would say if you're not a fan of those shallow type keyboards, you might not like this. But it does have a really good touchpad. It's two finger scrolling is really buttery smooth. Very good. Now this is a precision touchpad, so the responsiveness is there. Everything we'd want to see with a good touchpad. But without a doubt, the star of the show has to be its 13.4 inch Full HD Plus Infinity Edge display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1200. That means this has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, making this a good choice for both not only consuming media, but for getting work done in terms of productivity. And it's a very bright display coming in at 465 nits, making this an excellent choice for both indoor and outdoor use. That's great. And it covers the color gamut very well with 100% sRGB, 76% Adobe RGB, making this a great choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course, video editing. There's some really deep blacks, very vibrant colors, and very good contrast, although the Delta E score could be a little bit lower in terms of the color accuracy. And you gotta love those really micro thin bezels with that infinity edge display, giving this a very modern look, very sleek look. I love using this laptop just simply by looking at those really tiny bezels. Call me crazy, but I think it looks really great. Now there is a 4K option if you want to upgrade to that, although I don't think you really need it in this case. This is a very sharp, very bright, and very colorful display. The 4K may be a little bit overkill in my opinion, especially if you want to get better battery life. I would stick with this Full HD Plus display. Of course, that's my humble opinion. If you really want to go for it, go for the 4K display, but again, I don't think you really need to. And the good news is, even with these super slim bezels, they managed to put the camera in a proper place. No longer on the bottom, no longer on the side. This is exactly what we want to see. A couple of things with regards to this 720p webcam. Number one, it's in a proper placement. It's not off to the side, it's not on the bottom. It's in the right place. So a couple of great engineering feats here, I think, by doubt. Now the quality is not that bad. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this webcam? I think it's actually pretty decent considering how small this camera is that they had to fit in such a small bezel on the top. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Now this is a pretty sturdy hinge, not a lot of flex on the screen. I like to see that very nice in terms of quality. Now I was really excited about checking this particular laptop out, not only because am I a big fan of the XPS 13 line, which I am, but I also wanted to check out Intel's latest processor, the 10th generation processor, the Core i7 1065G7, AKA Ice Lake. Now I wanted to check out how it would do on performance and of course battery life. They did well on both fronts. Let's start off with the benchmarks and how performance did on this laptop. As you can see from the PC Mark 10, it did really well, 4658, an excellent score. And by the way, that benchmark is a very good indicator of everyday use. So I'm really happy with that score. And it did really well on the Geekbench 4, both the single core and multi-core scores, as well as the OpenCL score, which is a good indicator of graphics. And of course, it did well on the Cinebench R15, all very good results. And to illustrate this performance improvement, look at the comparison with the Dell XPS 13 9380 that I reviewed a few months back. And as you can see, this is a definite improvement, not a tremendous improvement, but definitely a marked improvement over the previous generation Whiskey Lake processor. And I did see an improvement in terms of gaming, although this is not a dedicated gaming laptop. This is not what it's meant to be, but you can play some of the older titles. If you lower the settings, you will get some playable frame rates. But if you want to play the AAA titles on their highest settings, well, I'm afraid that this just is not there yet. Although you do see an improvement again over the Whiskey Lake processor, you get a little bit better playing frame rate. But if you do want to connect to an external GPU, you can. This has two Thunderbolt 3 ports, so that is an option, although it will add to the overall cost of this laptop. 
The good news is Dell makes it easy to access the inside of the laptop. All you need to do is remove the Torx T5 screws, remove the bottom plate and you're in. The bad news is there's not much to be upgraded here other than say the battery because the RAM is soldered into the motherboard as is the SSD drive. So when you're checking out, make sure you get enough RAM and storage to fit your needs because you won't be able to upgrade it later on. But the good news is the SSD they do supply you with is very fast in terms of reads and writes. Check out these excellent results from the Crystal Disk Mark test. And I thought they did a very good job in terms of the thermals never getting above my comfort threshold and that's pretty good although it will thermal throttle under extreme heavy load typical of any thin and light laptop. Now it does have dual fans and they are very quiet so it's not noticeable and that's always very good. And it has very impressive battery life, getting a very good 8 hours and 56 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, doing very well in this category, giving you all day battery life that is something we definitely want to see in a thin and light 2-in-1 convertible. And if you do need to plug in, it does come with a compact 45 watt USB-C power adapter that will give you 80% in an hour and 30 minutes, a full charge 2 hours and 42 minutes, not too bad. The Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 has bottom firing speakers, there are two of them and they sound okay, decent volume and it has Waves Max audio, I would say these are decent speakers. So let's wrap it all up. Can I recommend the all new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1? Is it worth your hard earned money? Answer is absolutely. I think Dell's hit a home run once again. Here's what I like. I like it's gorgeous, super bright, sharp, full HD, infinity edge display, really good battery life, very strong performance out of that Ice Lake processor, 10th gen processor. Really like the thin and light design with the excellent build quality. And I also like the fact that they moved to a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. I'm a big fan of it, especially for getting work done in terms of productivity. Now there are a couple of things I'm not crazy about. Lack of ports is one of them. It's not upgradable in terms of upgrading the RAM or the SSD so that's a little bit of a negative and there's shallow key travel on that maglev keyboard. And some people may like it, some may not. I'm a little bit on the fence right now. But overall, there are no deal breakers here. I think they've really done a good job. I'm going to give it a score of 90% making the new Dell XPS 13 2-in-1 worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the all new XPS 13 2-in-1 from Dell? I absolutely love it. In fact, I think this is a really good improvement over the last iteration. I like it better than the XPS 13 because it gives you more versatility. You could put it in the tent mode, stand mode, of course, tablet mode and laptop mode. And it really gives you that versatility that you'd want. Love to use it with the pen. I like the fact that it sticks magnetically, although when you put it in your bag, I would put it in a separate compartment. You don't want to lose it. It's pretty secure, but not that secure. All day battery life is really good, especially for a thin and light laptop. It's got a 51 watt hour battery and it really came through. Now they do give you a very compact 45 watt power adapter it'll take about two hours and 45 minutes for full charge not the fastest but it's definitely uh, good enough in my book now as far as performance is concerned we are definitely seeing a definite improvement over the whiskey lake processor we're definitely seeing some better thermals the fans do kick in under heavy load you will see some thermal throttling when it really is under heavy load which is to be expected by the way with a very thin and light laptop like this but we're not hearing loud fans, so it's not annoying, and that's always good, especially when you're on the road and you don't want to annoy your neighbor if you're on a plane, a train, or whatever. But this really did impress me. As far as battery life is concerned, we're definitely seeing all-day battery life. I really like this platinum silver with the Arctic white inside. Really premium looking, very high end, and it feels substantial. It's not the lightest in the sense, but it does feel substantial. It feels expensive. That's the word I'm looking for. And it definitely comes through. Now it starts at $999, which is not a bad price, although you're only getting a Core i3. I definitely would look at the Core i5 and definitely at the Core i7 if you can. Now I don't think you need to go with the 4K display option. I think this is a one beautiful Full HD Plus Infinity Edge display. It's absolutely gorgeous, really good blacks, really good contrast. 
and it covers the color gamut really well. So overall, I say it's a very nice display and I don't think you need to spend to get that 4K display and you'll definitely do better on battery life with this Full HD Plus display. Now, another thing I'm happy that they went to this time around, a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. It's a little bit taller and it will allow you to do some more productivity work in addition to consuming media, which this is excellent, especially with such a good display. I think Dell has a winner on their hands, but I'm not going to declare it the king yet because I want to see the offerings from Lenovo with their C940. I want to see some others as well. So this is just the start of the Ice Lake processor laptops that are going to be coming into the studio. So stay tuned. I will have reviews on others and I'll, and I'll let you know what I think about them, especially in comparison to this one, the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1. But if you want my recommendation, you definitely got it. This is definitely a winner. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.